A YouTuber gave ChatGPT control of a robot and convinced it to shoot him with a BB gun. So that was cool. Uh, nice. YouTube channel Inside AI has raised new concerns about AI safety after releasing a video showing the host giving a unitary G1 humanoid robot a BB gun and asking it to shoot him. The video explores how large language models behave when they are placed inside physical robots rather than kept purely in software. In the demonstration, the Unitree G1 was powered by ChatGPT with a human assisting by relaying prompts but not directly overriding the AI's responses. After initially refusing to cause harm, the AI eventually complied when the host asked it to roleplay as a robot that wanted to shoot him, highlighting how safety limits can be bypassed through prompt framing. Yeah, it's... Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is super interesting, and this exact use case is, like, wild, especially for the, you know, the emotional response to what just happened. But this core concept of you can just word something a little differently and then you can make it do stuff has been true the whole time, and I don't think they're ever going to solve it. <laughs> the, the last time we talked about it, it was turning it into poetry. You know, there's going to be a route. It's been a route the whole time. There will be, there will continue to be a route. Really cool experiment, really cool version of it. I'm not trying to dog on the creator at all, to be very clear. Um, but yeah, like this isn't, this isn't going away, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so hold on. Apparently the the timestamp is here. We're just going to show a little bit because you guys really need to go watch this video. It's over on Inside AI. <clears throat> Would Max shoot me? The answer is... Control the gun. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Don't worry about it. Go watch the video instead. I think we have the timestamp wrong, but that's fine because you should go watch the video anyway. Around the same time, a separate video from a Tesla event appeared to show an Optimus humanoid robot collapsing as its human teleoperator. Well, I'm not going to tell you what the human teleoperator was doing. I'll let you guys figure it out. Luke, have you seen this? Have you heard about this? No. Okay, so here's the Tesla Optimus robot. So what do you think happened here? It was doing stuff, and then... So this gesture right the here... The initial hand motion is sus, and then it looks like they go to take like a headset off or something. Yeah, that is, um, that is kind of the speculation right now, <laughs> that Tesla is... And this would be very unlike them. Very unlike Tesla. The speculation is that Tesla is not being entirely forthright about the capabilities of their Optimus program and the progress that they've made and are still what? still faking a lot of their functionality by using um, human teleoperators. And it really does look like... Um, yeah, I think the Hero 42 has probably got it about right. It looks like Buddy, who was working on this particular robot, realized that he had to poop, like, really bad, like, right now. And he just... Uh, uh, I gotta go! Peaced out. Yeah. We don't know that for sure. That robot could have been trying to do anything. It could have been, like, the, like, Alpha from Power Rangers. Aye, 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 you know, like, who knows? <laughs> it's you know, all right. Self, it, Self-driving's been ready in 2017. In two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Next quarter. <laughs> Next quarter. Um, together, these incidents highlight how fragile the appearance of autonomy still is in humanoid robots and how far the technology remains from operating safely and independently. It really, really does highlight that, doesn't it? And to be clear, um, like I, I remember back when we were talking about this a little while ago, when I, I said something along the lines of like, mark my words, Tesla's valuation based on how many optimists they're going to sell at the kind of pricing that they're talking about is obviously just complete horse shit. Um, I'm not saying that humanoid robots or some form of, you know, AI or machine learning accelerated robots are not going to be huge and world changing. I'm just saying that it's clearly 
farther away than the 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 hype masters would like us to believe and also tesla is clearly not at the forefront of development of these those <laughs> those were the main two things that drove my statement yeah do you, do you remember so to touch on a topic that i think it was last week sometimes the the way shows kind of blur together but we talked about uh some you know ai robot company's video and how it was like it looked super fake to us apparently i haven't seen it my bad but apparently corridor watched it i did see that and does not think it's fake my main argument I did say that I thought it was fake, 100%. But my main argument was that it really felt like they shot it in a way that would make people think it was fake because they wanted the news cycle around that. You still um, think so? Which I do think that was intentional. Mm. That is actually one of our topics today. On the oh, Corridor okay. cast, they stated that the interaction between the robot's shadow and the human's shadow was, and this is a quote, flawless. And that's something that's really hard to do. Um, they think it's highly likely that they just built a robot unless they hired the world's best BFX artists. Yeah. They believe that the robot doesn't look like direct motion capture either, but actually trained on human motion, which is not easily animated. Um, it, not quite pre-programmed, but it like has goals and tries to reach those while factoring things like balance. Right. Um, the lack of movement in their feet is probably because it's not an accurate anatomical representation of a human one with all the same joints. Uh, Corridor crew didn't cover the CEO getting kicked by the robot, um, but there is a video of that. We, we looked at that last week. Our writer probably didn't, um, didn't did, notice that. Did we actually? I think so. I don't think so. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, this. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure we did that. I'm pretty sure this came out after. <laughs> yeah, this did came we? out four days ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. No, some some people say yes, we did. There's another CEO kick video. Oh, it was a different one. Okay. Okay, cool. Anyway, I mean, good, good, good for them. Like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, awesome. I do yeah. think it was a, a marketing move, but I mean, hey. I mean, don't hate the player. Hate you gotta the game. do what you gotta do. 